On the popular video site YouTube, there exists countless videos called Let's Play, where socially maladjusted individuals talk over footage of themselves playing video games for money. Somewhere in Ohio, one such Let's Player and his wife decided to continue the practice with varying degrees of success on a licensed game for a TV series way outside the typical demographic for this type of video. These are their stories. Welcome to another exciting case of Law & Order Legacies. I'm your host, Alt Director Jester, with my lovely assistant, wife, fiancé, whatever you wish to call her. Fiancé, again with this shit. Okay. Violet. Alright, so we just finished episode two with two stars. Let's see if we can get at least one star on the third one. Killer smart. Killer smart. A little worried about that one. Because, uh, we haven't been very smart these past two episodes. Oh, gosh. So, uh, let's step, let's step our game up. What do you say? Let's go. I'm feeling it. Let's do this. In the criminal justice system, the people are represented by two separate and equally important groups. The police who investigate... Yeah, they're not that important, really. We just like to make them feel that way. <laughs> These are their stories. Dun, dun. No. Okay. Brady, you need to come bring me something to eat. I'm starving. What do you mean I can't eat out on the corner? Well, then that's a shirt you got going on there. You out here in stilettos and booty shorts, and I can't eat out here because it's unprofessional. Oh, run her over! Uh, she's a hooker. Oh. No. No, she's a hooker. Um, she... I think they're all hookers, well, honey. Yeah. She just got hooked. Prostitutes. Signs of sexual assault and strangulation. Uh, of course, Benson's on for this one. She better be. Anyway, the first. Like every fucking week, am I right? Question. Why do they call them working girls? It's like... That just feels offensive to me. Right, because any woman who works is a working girl. Yeah. Mike Logan. Who is he from? Uh... I don't know. Well, we got Ray Curtis, Olivia Benson, Anita... But no Todd Logan! Who's huh. Todd Logan? Who is the guy on Criminal Intent? So you watched Criminal Intent way more than I did, and I don't recognize it from there, so... Uh, well, it wasn't the two main detectives, I don't yeah, think. Well, I kind of heard the same thing about you. Or maybe he was an older detective from the older episodes of Law and Order. Who, him? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think he's on the original Law and Order. Oh, okay, all right, that makes sense. All right, let's talk about Harlem. What brings you down here? I'm working a lead on the Massapequa Mangler case, his first victim. Yeah, I'm pretty Lots sure he was from the old one. Moore. She hmm. was killed okay. in my jurisdiction about nine months ago. Been on it ever since. Well, we appreciate that. You don't need it, but we appreciate it. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, all right. So, Trophies? I got achievements for this game? He's got a lot to carry with him. Poor girl. That could be our souvenir. Souvenir? Each of the Mangler's victims is missing a lock of hair. They kept that info from the press. Huh. That's interesting. You know, huh. Maybe? Sex offender I busted years ago. Kept the same kind of souvenirs after each assault. And guess what? He's out on parole. Uh-oh. Well, what kind of souvenirs are they? Locks of... Yeah, let, let, Locks of hair. Let's talk about this guy. I thought that was just going to be a uh, uh, red herring, but I guess not. Let's talk about the sex so offender. This guy now? Last I heard, he was in violation. His PO hadn't heard from him in nine months. Oh, maybe. shit. Mmm. Yeah, that is an important detail. So important, I'm going crazy. Yes. Woo! All right. I can feel it. We're going to ace this fucking case. All right. The sex, this sex offender is in big trouble. Oh. Right, uh, Angelica Moore was killed nine months ago. That's the girl who's over here, right? Well, she was killed nine months ago. Why is her body still there nine months ago? Oh, so I guess that must be the first one. Fuck! Fucking shit! God damn! Sorry. That's about when Angelica went missing. I'll sniff around, see what I can dig up. See, that's not Angelica. I thought... See, I'm already losing. I'm already, I'm already losing my touch. Well, let's talk... Suspects. Let's talk suspects. Do you have anyone you like for the Mangler? Hey, David 
Gondapur, a Robert Moffat, and an Ernest Limrose. All Johns have been busted down here. Great names. Especially about these guys. They got noticed. Really above average. That's why I like the Phoenix Rankings, because they have, like, funny word puns to uh, most of their names. Assault on Angelica Moore, but I got nothing to tie either one of them to the matters. Yeah, well, let's talk about Mo. What do we know about the Mangus M.O.? All I know is he sexually assaults them, and COD is always strangulation. Call of Duty is always strangulation, I know, because they shove so many games down your throat. There's girls from different boroughs, but so far he's dumped all of them in and around Nassau County. Does the cause of death match the ammo? I don't know, does it? Were you paying attention? Uh, were you? Uh, <laughs> no, I was too busy making a witty yes. joke. Okay, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> How does it match? It was death by strangulation. Yes, sexual assault, death by strangulation. Yes. Yes, go. Yeah, death by poison. It's like you, you fuck her, then you poison her. That's awful. These are all awful, though. <coughs> yeah. Don't kill people! <laughs> Alright, let's talk about the mangler. Do we have any reason to think our Vic can be connected to the mangler? CSU found some burlap fibers in the victim's hair. Same type of fibers showed up on two other victims of the mangler. Mm -hmm. But they look like most Look at that T-rated gore. This is the work of the mango. I wonder why the change in their mode. Not to mention the fact I mean, that's probably most of the reason why L.A. Noir itself was rated M. The goony, grizzly crime scenes. Alright, is there reason to believe our victim was done in by the Massapequa Mangler? Well, of course there is. They wouldn't bring him up if there wasn't. That was a burlap fiber, as he just said, right? He just got through saying... Yes! I got that on my own! Did you? Thanks for your help, though. Hey, Curtis, I'm uh, real sorry about that bit. Deborah! Girls doing good? That's how I read it. My oldest is looking at colleges. Deborah? To special education. Good. That's how I always have to know how to spell it. Yeah, no shit. That, that kind of Deborah? Let's say we question her while she's still feeling cooperative. Alright, let's question this bitch. Excellent work! Yes. <clears throat> well. Alright. Sure. We're good. Let's do it. Whoa! Background first, then characters. What's your name? Jenny. Said Jenny. With the lifeless eyes. With it's the name tag that said Jenny. Text message, isn't it? Give me his name and I can fix your Seriously? All left around here about the same daddy. If I give you his name, <laughs> these other girls will turn me in to be on his good side. Uh, we're gonna get into a darker side, uh -oh. aren't we? See anything earlier? Yeah, let's see. Did you see the victim at all today? Before you found her like this? No, she kept to her side of the street. I kept to mine. <laughs> right? Can I just screw this? Um, I don't know. Can you? I don't think I can. I mean, unless if I know what side of the street she's on. Or maybe I can't because why would she be there in the first place? Fuck! Fuck! What'd you push? Fuck. Yes! You shouldn't have. You shouldn't have. Glalia! X for you! Robert Moffat, Ernest Lynn Rose. Those names mean anything to you? Not to me. You call them Johns for a reason. No one knows. Huh. How he just said Johns too, Mr. Logan. Is there Logan connection to these names? Sure. Fuck! Oh, no. man! No! Oh. John's shit. You know Why so all prostitutes call men? How am I supposed to know that? Did Jenny mention a previous connection? Mm. Okay. <laughs> He's just guessing now. <laughs> I'm winning. <laughs> we're the same pimp. They knew each other. That's the longest answer. That's gotta yeah. be it. Yes. Well, yeah, because they just said pretty. She just said everyone out here pretty much has the same daddy. I don't know if we're really gonna make it out of this, or I don't know if I'm gonna make it through all seven of these episodes. Wendy, she's a new girl. Who is Wendy working for? I don't know. I'm not Burger King. Jenny, you're no rookie. You know all the players out there. Hey, I'll say she's no rookie. If you know what I'm saying. 
Can't turn a lie. Eh, yes. why not? Do it. Correct! Let's just ensnare... said everyone had the same daddy! Let's ensnare this bitch. Jenny. Jenny just told you all the girls work for the same pimp. It's hot at that full pimp. Know what I'm saying, player? <laughs> <laughs> all the girls work together. Boom! Oh, boy. All right. I think we you saved ourselves from that one. Take you to Central Booking, let you sit in a bullpen for a few hours to try and jog your memory. Oh, me? <laughs> <laughs> Jenny, give us the name of Wendy's pimp and we promise it'll never come back to you. Uh, when Benson says it'll never come back to you... It usually it'll does. It'll come back to you! <laughs> Bankroll. Jesus. Ironically, living in poverty. Alright. Keep it going. We're on a roll so far. Are we? Yes, we are. I don't know. We are on a roll. You getting everything wrong and shit. No wonder Ben Girl hangs out here. He can keep an eye on the Johns cruising his girls. Cruising, cruising the girls. I don't know what that means. All this prostitute lingo. Yes, you do. Oh, this guy looks weird. Detective Curtis, homicide. Come on, man. I'm trying to read the paper, and these people just got my latte right. Come on back later. Pumpkin spice. Am I right? We just have a few questions for you. Wendy. We have a few questions. Just one, really. Just, just Wendy. One. Okay, just one question, but still, we're gonna ask it. If you're gonna answer it. Wasn't you? Who, me? Hell no. I don't know no girl named Wendy. Hell no. Did he know Wendy? Yeah. Yeah, I think he knew Wendy. Because how did you know that she was a girl? Yeah! Caught you in a lie, you little prick. Who who said he knew Wendy? Jenny. Jenny. Okay, they're trying to keep it easy for me now. It's like, all right, well, obviously you're not smart enough to do this game by yourself, so. Maybe she came to me for advice from time to time. That's all I'll say. How did you make it through the Wolf Among Us? <laughs> well, that that doesn't work in the same way. It kind kinda. Let's talk about life as a pimp. Women you have walking the streets right now, Benzel. 80? Y'all be watching too much television. Oh. It ain't no Playboy mansion where I live. It's more like a Playboy neighborhood, you know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> Bike roll! Lady, you act like the decision be all mine. All these girls care about is the next dollar. Black dollar Black apostrophe. If I find out Gotta be girls, pertinent with that grammar there. That punctuation. Awkward sip. <laughs> wow! <laughs> and it all looked like he just rolled his eyes at her. <laughs> like, whatever, fucker. <laughs> Let's talk about your shit ass van. You right. see everything from this coffee shop, don't you? Greatest show on earth, man. I ain't missed a night in 25 years. Hey, oh. Seen Wendy get into one of those lately? Nah, nothing like that. I seen the sanitation workers down here last night. You know, New York's stronger. Uh, shouldn't it be New York's cleanest? Wouldn't that make sense? Do you think it's... Yeah, th yeah, yeah, I think he saw the van! Correct, he did see the van. Well, yeah, he just told us about it. Banks... <laughs> wow. Bank Road makes lattes, which keeps him very alert. I don't know about you, but I'm drinking so much caffeine that I crashed it's an totally hour later. totally the second one. No sanitation worker in the right mind would pick up a prostitute in the city of... Actually, you'd be surprised. Those brushes at the bottom? Oh, girls love those. Anyway, uh, Curtis knows bank road and see all the traffic coming in out of the neighborhood. That's probably it. Yeah. Well, who doesn't trust the police, though? Definitely the second one. I mean, even the police don't trust the police sometimes. <laughs> Maybe not a red van. What kind of? I've seen a white van down here a couple of times. Figured it was just some bridge and tunnel CPA <laughs> playing that plantation game. Got a sweet tooth for some brown sugar. Plantation That's game? Yeah. What is this? That's Angelica. She got picked up in that same kind of van the night she met. Angelica! The girl who was missing for nine months! Ah, uh, it's probably something. Suspects. Is her sidekick named Cynthia? Who you think I am? No, Susie. 
These guys would have stuck out. Not your typical John looking for a night away from Mars. John's mods, CODs. I don't get this shit, man. Man, it's always been cats from the suburbs. Cats from the suburbs? So much lingo. I don't get it. If you do, shut your mouth. Okay. Yeah, let's talk about that Arab. <laughs> it's like, whoa, whoa, Arab. Let's talk about that guy. All right. Yeah, man. You know, like Lawrence of Arabia and all that. Never saw that movie. I know who Lawrence of Arabia is, fool. Did he drive a red van? Nah, drove an Escalade, white leather seats. Nah, <laughs> scared Angelica real good, so we had a little conversation. Then the police showed up. Does this conflict with Logan's story? I'm thinking that it does. Yeah, because I don't think... What don't you think? I don't think that he ever picked anyone up. Did this? Well, we got three X's. Like a mangler we're, or whatever. We're pretty good on our score. We have no X's, so let's throw it to the fuck. Shit. I watched it all go down. Cops roll up. A rap fool would have got out. A rap fool. Stop making words with his mouth. Later, he comes around. Oh, the A rap man making words with his mouth. Ain't heard nothing about it since. Uh huh. So he roughed up Angelica, and you took a bribe to keep it quiet. <laughs> Don't go on any vacations, Bankroll. You may need the pleasure of your company again. Is he wearing a money polo shirt? No, it looks like just flowers or whatever. I'm not a big fan of racial profiling, but seeing as how he said Arab, I'm gonna go talk to the Arab dude. Way to go, you failed. I did fine. I did just you are fine. A failure. I did fine! See? Look. I've even got a fucking bonus star. That was the best we've ever done. One out of three. That was the best we ever done. We ever done. In this case. <laughs>